Yeah, hello <clears throat> and welcome to this video. We're playing a 15 minute game here on ICC and I'm back after um, about four days off without um, a new upload and this is because I caught a really bad cold and for, for like two two or three days I couldn't couldn't speak almost and now <clears throat> it's um it's better. It's not um, back to normal but uh, at least I feel good enough to, to play game. Um, yeah, I've got a Queen's Gambit accepted here. Um, I go for a solid line. E4 is also fine, but let's say um, I want to keep it simple. And um, probably if um, they would make me um, do a drug test, I wouldn't uh, <laughs> wouldn't uh, get a positive, a good result from that, as I'm still on medication against this <laughs> against this cold. Okay, he played h6 here. Yeah, probably um, trying to prepare b5. Not um, not sure if I'm what I should do. I mean, e4 is um, the kind of normal move here. Looks normal, but probably b5 um, is playable. Don't see um, how I would uh, get my pawn back then. I could play a4. Mm, yeah, I think just a4. Keep it simple. Should should be okay. Hmm. Yeah, this is um, interesting. Yeah, there are some some funny ideas in in those uh, kind of positions. If I go e4, there's maybe the possibility that he that he can take on e4. Sacrificing a knight and um, taking then on d5. This is um, a valid idea sometimes to get um, a big pawn uh, pawn uh, roller in the center. Yeah, and after this, e5 is um, is normal really. Yeah, I think I should go e5. Not sure. Knight e4 now, I think. This is probably a known position, at least it, it's certainly a known position without a4 and a6 um, played. And um, I'm not entirely sure what this is. Um, yeah, what this is. Um, what, this, what the meaning compared to without a4 and a6. But the good thing is, I don't even know um, <laughs> anything about the position. Without the moves, so yeah, what could Black do? I mean, you can go to d7. It looks rather passive, but certainly um, a move that uh, that can be played. Bishop g5 probably, or I could just take with the queen. Or knight e4. This is uh, the principled alternative, which I could take. Take on d8, knight g5, get my pawn back, and this is in fact a line where. The insertion of a4 and a6 might be might be something for white. As um, at the end of all this, yeah, maybe c5 is um, is a possible weakness. I'm not sure though. I could also just take on d5, after which he probably will take on c3. Yeah, I think I'll go. I go for this. No exchange and knight g five. Yeah, I'm pawned down, but I attack f seven, e four, and c four. So I get um, at least um, one pawn back. In fact, in the at the moment, I'm two pawns down. But. Uh, <laughs> But I get um, I get to get them back as uh, as mentioned. Yeah, Bishop E C four now I guess and Bishop E six was also a possibility for him. I guess now here to threaten on F seven. And um, I can just take E four also. Next move. It's not clear also how how does he defend uh, F seven now. He could play um, a move like F six, but. Yeah, 
Hmm. Yeah. So what do I do now? I can. Um, yeah, I could take um, two times on e6, or take bishop e6 f e knight e4. This looks a bit, a bit meek though. Maybe to take two times here with the knight. A bishop takes f e knight e6, threatening knight c7. And probably he needs to make some, yeah, some silly king move to, to address that idea. Yeah, probably this is right. Should be should be very good for me. How does he pre prevent even knight g five e four, and then I'm a pawn pawn up at the end even. Regained uh, three pawns. Oops, yeah, I can just. Why shouldn't I sure. take the rook? Black yeah, sort of a mismatch, of course. He's just rated 1700. But uh, this is the, the issue with the auto pairing here. You um, get completely, yeah, not random opponents, but if there are relatively few um, in this 15 minute pool, then um, you might get um, far weaker opposition at times. I'll try to, to get another game quickly here in the in the pool so that I can. Um, combine this into a two-game video. Um, yeah, Black in fact um, has uh, has huge problems here already. I think. I mean, could could be wrong, but I don't think um, he can get a decent position here. And he must play uh, something to cover c7. Probably this move. Uh, oh. Probably this move. And then I just uh, drop back here and will. Will get the pawn. Let's say something, something like this. Check. And you've also got Bishop F4 coming. Um, maybe even immediately. Is this is an Check. idea. Game started. Oh, okay, I get a, I get um, another game here. So um, I'll combine this into. Two game video or one e four. What did I play uh, recently? I played the Karakan. I played the French. Hmm. Okay, let's start with the Sicilian and uh, decide later what what line to play. Knight a three. Okay, so at least it looks like an open Sicilian. Hmm. Yeah, it's a pretty high rated player, so maybe um try for some some line with E five like the Kalashnikov or the Sveshnikov. Depends if he plays um one uh three D four now, yeah he does, I take. Yeah now E five would be the the so-called Kalashnikov variation. It's um, really unclear why this uh, this name has been attached to it. It actually maybe should should be called the. Yeah, well, you've got e5, knight b5, and then a6 is the the classical variation here, which has been played even in the 1800s and 1900s. Um, it's called the Löwenthal variation, if I'm not mistaken. And d6 is um, the modern treatment. Which has been um, more or less popular popularized by Evgeny Sveshnikov, who thinks um, that this is much better than his original um, line, the the well-known Sveshnikov variation. Okay, yeah, I played this a couple of times, but I don't really know the exact theory here. I hope I can get by with. Um, with natural kind of moves. Yeah, I think knight d5 is something I need to attend to. So let, um, let's get rid of this uh, this knight. Should I play bishop g5 or shouldn't I do this? I'm not sure. Yeah, maybe I can I can first get some development move in.
Yeah, the pawn structure is um, indeed um, similar to the, the regular Sveshnikov. The difference is that white has played c4. Black, um, due to c4, isn't able to play a quick b5 as uh, he is able to in the Sveshnikov. But um, the c4 pawn is not um, yeah, just an advantage for white in terms of preventing b5, but also a problem as it makes his um, f1 bishop um, a pretty, pretty bad piece at the moment. White needs to be cautious that um, he doesn't run into some scenario where his bishop is bad on f1 and black's bishop is um, fine on e6. So um, it is um, a positionally very, um, very interesting opening. It can often um, get, um, yeah, to this very interesting maneuvering, where the proper exchange of pieces is uh, is essential. Black would like to get rid of his dark squared bishop with bishop g5 probably. This also was an idea a move ago. I'm, I'm not quite sure about the, the theoretical details here. I just thought that I can play this move anyway uh, next next move. And um, this is why I didn't hur hurry with this. All right. Quite interesting to see what, what is coming up now. Probably just bishop somewhere, bishop e2 or knight c2, I'm not sure. Uh -huh. the instant knight d5. This is in fact interesting. Hmm. Okay, so one point of this is obviously I cannot play bishop g5 as this would blunder blunder here on c7. So this he um he did prevent. Still this is a pretty early point to move the knight. One question is after knight f6 what what is he doing? E4 is hanging. Does he play f3 really or knight takes um knight takes e7 cannot be a big issue for me. Now maybe after knight f6 he can play bishop e3. Could be a possibility intending um knight b6 or bishop b6 uh, even, bishop b6, knight, knight c7, yeah, still knight f6 should be, should be all right. Let's see how he reacts. If he plays something like f3, uh, I think it uh, yeah, should be fine. Yeah, okay, this was, was um, one possible idea of his, um, of his whole setup. I thought that I have just knight d7 if everything else fails. Um, another question is what is this really doing? I mean if I just castle, what what's the big big point? Bishop b6, queen to d7 and I can go knight c7, but this is all very time consuming. So why shouldn't I castle really? Yeah, let's just castle. And now e4 is um, is hanging. Interesting. I didn't think that this would would do him much good, but maybe I'm um, assessing this uh, in the wrong way. I'm not sure. I just feel that I'm much better developed now, and um, I'm not sure that this bishop on b6 is um, is so great. One one idea could be bishop to d8, just 
try to exchange this piece yeah this is probably not uh, not bad at all bishop d8 he could play knight f6 then uh, could just recapture and um, I don't see that um, that I should have any big problems could also first hmm. yeah not sure hmm. I thought about first moving the knight on f6 and then play bishop to d8. Hmm. Okay, let's do this first. He can go knight f6, but uh, then I don't know. It's, oh, what? Well, this is a very strange reaction, I think. Especially uh, as he played this instantly. All right, so let's let's see what we can do here. I think um, this this must be tactically at least um, uh, somewhat dubious. I don't think uh, this is good. Okay, but um, let's have a look. If I take on d5, this is obviously the critical move, or one of the two captures. Yeah, because if I just take on d5 with any piece, that he would recapture I will take b6 and have a great position uh, win a pawn and have a dominant uh, bishop on on b6 so let's say knight d5 he would he would need to take on d8 and then I have possibilities like knight f4 I'm thinking about something like this knight d5 bishop d8 knight f4 and then the bishop needs to move on d8 if he moves to some some silly place I don't know let's say b6 again then I have stuff like bishop to h3 yeah? attacking g2 g takes h3 queen h3 and it's made on g2 yeah knight d5 bishop d8 knight f4 and bishop h3 but he's got bishop to g5 which which saves him of course he didn't calculate any of this he just played played this uh, instantly and it's lucky that this is not working. Otherwise, it, this would win, would win just uh, just instantly. Okay. Still, I can take here. He takes on d8. Mm -hmm. Knight f4, knight bishop g5. Yeah, this is this is saving for um, white. Of course, I have no problems. I can I can play this. Also, I could take on d5 with the bishop. Yeah, this is of course also a possibility. Take with the bishop, takes on d8, rook d8, recaptures in knight d4, and I'm just I'm just fine. Yeah, multitude of um, possibilities. It's a shame that this knight d5 isn't winning outright because of the silly bishop g5 move. Mm. Okay, so let's let's play this. This is simple and leads to um, a good a good position strategically okay question is how to take now probably with the queen because queen to b6 can be can be a good uh, good resource knight takes looks 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 very weird so let's take here the idea is a queen b6 for example, if uh, if I go after taking on d5, I go to d4, right? And if he then uh, plays f4 at some point, I've got queen b6. I hope I didn't miss uh, a direct refutation. Castles really is... Uh, this year really was a weird move, especially played um, instantly. So let's see what what he does now. Okay, so um, of course I don't want to retreat.
Yeah, this I thought um, would be answered with queen b6, but um, he's obviously not afraid of this. Yeah, I'm always amazed that people play very, very committal moves instantly, like castles and f4. Obviously, this is all so easy and and uh, obvious to play. But I'm, I'm, I always uh, need a bit of time to really think about things. Uh, not sure what this uh, <laughs> what this means. Um, okay, queen to b6. Yeah, maybe he can take on e5. It's uh, possible some tactical justification of all this. Yeah, still I, I hope um, I have some uh, some defense here. Knight f3 is also a possibility after taking so that I have a, a knight on e5. He can um, then think about sacrificing on f6, but this should be at best a draw. What I'm talking about is takes here. Yeah, also played quickly. Um, yeah, knight f3, double check, king in the corner, and then um, knight e5. He might uh, think about rook f6 uh, takes and then queen h5 but uh, d3 is hanging yeah i should i should have enough defensive resources really it's a really a good um, good piece on e5 Yeah, if he's not able to sack on f6 now, I'm not sure what he is going to going to play. B2 is hanging. The knight on a3 is uh, really a bad piece. Yeah, it's not so easy to make a. Um, Kind of slow move here. I also maybe have the idea to play knight to g4, f to g4, knight f2, knight e3, those kind of ideas. It's probably um, not fatal for white if I would, would do that, but something to think of. e3 is not a, not a great spot really. Yeah. He would like to play queen to d4, but he stand. He has a, a trick, <laughs> of course. So, um, how to continue? One possibility is um, knight to d7, knight to d d7 to c5. This kind of idea. Taking, um, I don't know, doesn't seem too great to me. He's got also b4 as um, some option. Okay, let's uh, play a simple move, rook e8, which just um, introduces the idea of sometimes even just taking on d3. Take and rook e3. What? This looks uh, strange to me. To yeah, okay, it covers b2, but uh, it leaves the, the knight in a somewhat hanging position. If I would play knight f to g4 now and threaten on d3, hmm. yeah, I'd probably retreat it. But take on d3, rook e3, yeah, okay, this is certainly good for black, but not sure if it's the best continuation. Okay, come on, 
I don't want to waste um, more time. I'm down on the clock and um, want to catch up a bit. It doesn't help that um, it doesn't help to lose some on, on time at the end. If you call all the opponent's moves uh, strange and weird and so on, and with the justification, it doesn't help if you lose some time at the end. Okay, I just have the e-file now, which should be worth something. Okay, yeah, where to put the rook? A good question. Maybe e4 to um, to keep the the knight passive. Rook e2 is also a possibility. Then you might play knight d4 though. Maybe just here. This keeps the knight um, completely inactive on c2. It cannot move it anywhere. And uh, this intense knight g4 piling up on f2 and so on. Okay. So knight e2 now, uh, rook e2 now attacking the knight. Where does it go? Not sure. Maybe he can play uh, rook to e1. Yeah, maybe you can play rook to e1. Trying to um, exchange lots of stuff. But I think I can just um, then exchange on e1 multiple times and play queen a5 or queen d4. Sort of in waiting and in introducing the idea of knight e4. I should um, should be good then. With, um, the better <coughs> pieces, better activity. Yeah, this um, pressure on f7 is a bit of a nuisance if I would be able to... Hmm, yeah, okay. So let's just exchange them. Yeah, okay. I was Check. considering this. And now I thought queen d4 or queen a5. Queen a5 would uh, double attack e1 and a2. It's um, not so clear how you would uh, cover this. Queen e2, probably. Yeah, queen e2. I like, I like queen d4 with the idea of playing knight e4. And this would, or well, on IG4, I'm not sure what's better, but uh, trying to coordinate those two pieces and um, trying to get something against the king. Yeah, it's, um, yeah, 94, I guess. It's pretty clear that um, black should be better in some, to some extent, but it's not, not easy to tell if um, this is something yeah, something serious or just um, optically better. I mean, sometimes some positions look good, but uh, it's hard to make any um, any progress. And um, this um, might be um, one of those. So possible. Okay, let's yeah. use this uh, this check to to gain a move. And then play f5. Yeah, probably just f5. Or is there some some other idea? Knight um, knight d2. Yeah, probably just queen f2. Don't think it uh, it amounts too much. Let's move the f pawn.
yeah two mm, two minutes check two minutes against four minutes yeah it looks nice but um hard to tell if I'm able to um, to make any um, any real progress here. Maybe it uh, it's um, just uh, solid enough for a draw for white. Um, if I play in bishop uh, knight to d2. Probably I can can repeat moves. Yeah, this also threatens g5. Yeah, it's hard to hard to think um to Check. to play for a win here just because of the time. I would um, happily try to play for for win, but with the time, it's it's really tricky. Check. Hmm. Uh, don't don't see how to. How to try to win, really? Queen e1, maybe. Queen e1, f2. Ah, come on. Let's 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 try this. I don't think I'm I'm risking too much here. Knight to d2. Knight F one Check Hmm Shouldn't this um be good now? Queen takes G three and um I grab on, on F four. Time warning. Check. Oh, knight g2. Uh, the knight on this knight on f1 doesn't have much squares. Hmm. Yeah, I can go here. But then he probably has some checks here. Hmm. Okay. Queen check here, but I can I can go to h6 probably. It's not um, not clear that this really helps him. And check. I'm threatening um, knight f3. Check. Yeah. Tricky. Check. Yeah. Uh, at the end he's got c5. At the end he's got c5. Uh, very unlucky. Yeah, I could maybe I just maybe I just should have taken the draw. Now he's got c5 and wins a completely undeserved win. Yeah, all right. This promotes. Black resigned. <clears throat> yeah, of course. Um, this wasn't necessary to lose, and um, I could have um, probably won easily at more than one point. I don't know. This is just. Check. This should be Check. should be good, really. Maybe it maybe it is just Check. a draw. Check. Yeah. 
Yeah, of course, King G8 is a draw. You cannot uh, do anything else than check. check. I didn't have much. To, I, I just saw this too late. But he's got this, this C5 at the end. And um, of course, this, this kind of stuff is just better for black. I just spent uh, too much time. Here I can just just play about anything a5 b5 white is uh, is not able to, to to do much he's just clearly clearly worse with the uh, the good knight on on e4 this what i tried is uh, probably due to this long line which wasn't possible to calculate before Check. just a draw Check. and Check. Uh, this is Check. what i played of course losing i i saw it pretty Check. pretty pretty quickly but um but just uh, just too late. It's, um, yeah, always a bit of a shame if uh, the white player didn't do anything in this game. It was just worse all the way. But uh, you overlook something and you lose. This is this is chess. It happens, <laughs> especially if you're if you're down on time. He played uh, rather quickly, at least uh, quicker quicker than I was. Yeah, in several positions, I think. Um, there were possibilities of uh, of better better play. Let's say here the computer just wants to retake on e5 with the clear advantage for black. Yeah, this is certainly possible. B2 is hanging, and I just wanted to have this brilliant knight on e5. Okay, the computer also gives black a clearly a close to winning advantage already here. This is a bit much, but yeah, yeah, this is all. Or clearly better for black. Check. Check. Yeah, somewhere around here. It's um, a question how white should defend. Hard to tell. Also, h3 was a really weird move, but okay. Why would you play h3 when you can play g3, which was much more logical in this pawn structure? Why weaken the dark squares even more? But okay. Check. Check. Yeah, yeah. This Check. is this sometimes just happens. The opponent Check. is is, is Check. basically Check. doing Check. nothing, and uh, you Check. overlook one thing and you lose. This is <laughs> it, uh, it's uh, the way this game is uh, is played. All right. Yeah. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it anyway. It was an interesting game. Um, yeah. I hope to be. Um, be updating uh, regularly now again um, as I'm becoming uh, yeah fit again I hope <laughs> at least my voice is back yeah thanks for watching